Okay, the figure shows one quarter circle. So the quarter circle is here. This is my quarter circle. And a semicircle. This is my semicircle. In a square of side 10 cm. Okay. Find the difference in area between the shaded parts B and D. Right? So anyone has a suggestion on how to solve this question? Yes, Dylan? You want to find the area of quadrant first and then next? Okay. Take quadrant minus semicircle. Okay. Do you all agree with his answer? Makes perfect sense, right? Is there any uh, alternative methods? Any alternative methods? Yes? Okay, I'm going to uh, explain to you. Okay, what uh, Dylan meant is a very good solution, very short as well. First, he finds the area of the quadrant. And you know that the quadrant, okay, this is a spelling, uh, is actually made out of these two portions, B and C, right? Correct wrong. Next, he said, find the area of the semicircle. And it is actually C plus D, right? Correct? If you want to find the difference between B and D, okay, don't you think that it's actually the semicircle and the, sorry, the quadrant, right? Quadrant minus the semicircle. Because the C will cancel each other out, right? Correct? B plus C, C plus D. You want to find a difference between B and D, the C will cancel out, yes or no? If you use the area of the quadrant minus the area of the semicircle. Who do not understand what uh, Dylan was saying? Who do not understand? Please clarify. Bjorn, are you okay? Okay, but you understand. I want to find first. Understand the question. They want to find the difference between B and D, right? Oh, okay. So I'm using B minus D. Am I right or wrong? So if you understand the question, this part actually tells you. I need to use B minus D, yes? Equals to a question mark. This is what we are going to find. Correct? In order to solve this, I need to use my quadrant, subtract off my semicircle. Because why? Cancel. Yes, the, can the cancellation, the C will cancel out each other. This 2C. Okay, this 2C will cancel out each other when you subtract. Yes? So in, in the end, you'll be left with B minus D. Any question? Okay, so let's uh, work out the area of the quadrant. Brendan, tell me a formula. Quarter times pi r square. So, Jing Kai, tell me. Times times 10 times 10. So what is this equals to Leroy? Sorry? 78.5 is it? Okay, now we know our quadrant. Okay? Next we need to know the area of the semicircle, yes or no? Correct? And to find the area of the semicircle. How do what's the formula for the, the to find the area of semicircle? Uh Shui. Uh half times pi r square. Okay, half times pi r square. But the origin is Yeah, the R will have to be a different R, right? The R of the semicircle, am I right? Okay, just now the R is for the quadrant, so sorry I didn't label it. Okay, so in this case, okay, so I have half multiply by 3.14 and what is the radius of the semicircle alexis then divide by 2 which is equals to 5 so isabel tell me what's the answer 
sorry, 29 point 39, is it? 39.25. Okay, in order to find the answer, we need to subtract, right? So I use 78.5, subtract 39.25, and what do you get? 39.25 what? CM okay, so 39.25 cm squared. Okay, so you are uh, comp tidy up this worksheet when you go home today, right? And then uh, oh, you have to submit this uh, tomorrow, okay?